All right, so today we're going to show you how to winterize the Toro Greensmaster Flex 21. It's also sort of the same as the Greensmaster 1000, except the reels come off a little bit different. This is the machine. And you can see it's the Greensmaster Flex 21. So what you want to do is if you're changing the oil, take the bucket off. Your oil bolt is going to be back in there and the only way really to get to that is to take this reel off and you want to take this reel off anyway probably because you're going to grind this it's the end of the season so we're going to start by taking off you got two pivot points here with these brackets you got a bolt there a bolt there and then you're going to have a bolt there and a bolt there and then this is going to drop off and this whole machine is going to want to fall backwards on you. So be very careful. Make sure you have somebody holding it, such as Pete right there. And uh, yeah, when these slide out, you'll be able to pull your reel out and the machine is going to fall. So have somebody hold it. And then we're going to take a jack and lower it down once that reel's out onto the jack and drain our oil and put the pan underneath. To get to the back ones, you're gonna need to do it by hand. You're gonna have to get a socket in there. There's no room for the air gun. All right, so you want to put your socket in the back here, and this is a knuckle buster point because these are tight. And we're gonna pull up on it, and we got it. All right, we got that one off. Now you got another one way back there. And same thing. Watch your knuckles on this one. Pull up. Yep, we got it. All right, so all of our... Tell me what doing. Oh, no problem. All of our bolts are loose here. So now, this is why you want somebody else. Because as soon as you pull these out, one, watch your fingers. This is a, a pinching point. But this reel is going to come loose from here, and this whole machine is going to fall backwards. But Pete's holding it, but I'm going to show you... Um, so Pete, yeah, take a little pressure off of it, Pete, lean back. So he's going to wiggle the machine so that I'm able to slide these out of here. Let's try this one first. All right, there's one. Okay. There's one pin out. Now you can see it's detached from the machine. All right, jiggle this side, Pete. All right, and there's the second one. Now look, see? That machine wants to go right back because all your weight was in this wheel. Up. Oh. We missed that part. So this shaft here, come back up, Pete. You got this shaft here. Well, that was slid inside of there. All right, so when you disconnect it, this slaff, shaft right here just slides out of this. And that will disconnect your reel there from the unit. Now you're gonna need a jack because there's no weight on this machine. Put your, put your back stand down there. Take a little jack like this, set her there, okay, lower it down. Get ahead right there. All right, now your machine's level. So now you can see the bolt right here. You'll be able to get to it now with the jack up. Put your oil pan underneath. All right, so that bolt, it's gonna be a 9 16th. And uh, where are we at here, Pete? Oh, there we are, right there. I can come up from the bottom of the machine and now I can grab it see all the clearance I got now with that reel out now I can grab it and pull and again watch your knuckles because that one yeah, it's loose. that one hurt all right it's loose and the rest you can kind of just do with your finger once you get it loose it's a little tight spot in there Well, it's hard to get the camera in there, but I'm backing that out by finger now and the rest I move the jack out of the way. There we go. The rest is self-explanatory. Once I back that nut out, the oil is gonna fall in the pan. And if you don't know what to do after that, then you probably shouldn't be a mechanic, but just let the oil drain. 
make sure you put the plug back in and then these will take a half a quart of oil almost exactly a half a quart to fill them back up so pull that out yeah keep that light on there all right and there goes our oil get the light on there pete and there's our oil coming out all right set your bolt in a safe spot right next to the pan and let that drain for a while and don't forget with your reel here because these are probably going to be apart for a while if you're working on them you don't misplace these brackets because you're going to have to order these direct from the dealer you're not going to find them on amazon anywhere and keep your bolts with them so what you probably should do is just put them back on the machine where you got them and put the nuts back in them this way they stay with the unit 